Metro Police arrested 37-year-old Dewan Holland for theft just 18 days after his release from state prison. Last year, the Department of Corrections released 4,500 offenders back to Indianapolis, people with no jobs, no homes, and few coping skills. Recycle Force on the city's east side helps ex-offenders with a job and a paycheck. It also provides counseling and mentoring services and gives offenders time off to meet court-imposed programs away from the job. I lived under the bridge for about, about a month. After serving a 17-month sentence behind bars and with no place to call home, Andrew King was court-ordered to live under the bridge at Washington and I-65 so corrections officials could keep tabs on his whereabouts. His story isn't much different than others leaving prison. It's very stressful, you know, because you have, I had no money, no means, no nothing. Uh, and I had no idea how I was not going to get uh, go back to prison. Recycle Force will participate in a two-year Department of Labor study. It will hire 1,000 ex-offenders over the next two years. Half will get in-house services. The other half will have to find available help in the community. And the study will look at the impacts related to recidivism, child support payment and family formation, and how people gain skills that allow them to move into other private sector jobs. Andrew King succeeded so well that he's joined the staff of Recycle Force, helping other ex-offenders follow his example. We know what the problems are with the fees and the drug drops and just the problems at home and just everything that comes up. We've been through it. I've been through it. The two-year study will help gauge the effectiveness of programs like this one, that with a little help, ex-offenders can make it on the outside. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.